Okay, you ready? Butter, butter, butter. What are we doing today? Walking. <laughs> I didn't see it. You had to turn the other side. Or, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Abby and I are here at the uh, Seneca Lake Trailhead. We're going to be going up to pull, the Pole Trail, Pole Trail, Pole Creek Trail today over to the Cook Lakes, and eventually, in the next couple days, we'll go up to a lake called Islands Lake and Titcomb Lake. A very interesting name. Titcomb Basin. Tit Titcomb Basin as well. It's a whole hike, Smith. We're excited. It's beautiful here this morning. We kind of slept in our rental car last night. I kind of slept on the ground over here. Yeah, a little bit. I don't even know. <laughs> over at the A-train here, so. What's your dog's name? Sadie, don't fall. <laughs> here is the sign. Pole Creek Trail. Apparently this is a bear that they've been seeing on this trail, so she wanted to make sure we had our bear canister, which we do. Seen last week. Seen last week. Woo! There we go. Okay. <laughs> this pack. I've had this pack for about 25 years. Bought it when we got married. And <clears throat> it's a huge pack. Not the most comfortable pack, but Definitely packs in a lot of stuff when I need to, which we have a bear canister in the back of this thing. And those things are, they always take up a ton of room. It's always fun coming to a different state or a different area and just seeing how different everything is. Like all this green, lush ground cover along the trail. That's uh, just unique. Different than what I've seen in other, other places. Really soft trails. Pretty nice right here. We're actually in Wyoming today, up in the Wind River Range. Um, and um, gonna be hitting a ton of lakes. Um, right, right now we're at about 9,500 feet already, just starting out. I'm feeling it just a little bit. Yeah, lots of green here. And I think it opens up further on up the trail and oh man I'll let these guys keep going by they're making some good progress they're going through a lake to fish you can tell we got a few pretty wildflowers up here Take a little little break here. This is the first time I've seen Abby wear like a regular hat in years, and I uh, I decided to put my uh, you know classy mosquito net on. And I, I tell you what, it is nice. It's like night and day. I'm, I we have spray on so that they aren't like biting us, but it's just annoying because they're all around us. Abby and I are enjoying the all the different wildflowers out here right now. It's so pretty. So awesome. We just finished up there at uh, Photographer's Point Peak or whatever it's called. Very pretty. It reminds me of the High Sierras. <clears throat> anyway, we're off to we're just about to five miles right now. And uh, headed to Cook Lakes today. We think it's about 12 to 15 miles, so a ways to go.
Oh, how pretty. What's this lake's name? Lunch Lake. Lunch Lake? <laughs> well, started to rain and all the mosquitoes are gone now. That's nice. Trying to get some food in our tummies though. Between the mosquitoes and the rain, it's not happening. All right, we just came up to this pretty, pretty uh, gnarly creek here. I think we're gonna have to cross over. I'm not sure. What do you think? Are we crossing this over? Crossing, the, crossing over this river? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's pretty far. So Abby and I just had to cross this river here, and it was uh, pretty tricky. <laughs> it was, it was, it took us, I don't know, it took us about 15 minutes to get across. A lot of fast water, a lot of deep areas, but there's no like, there's no bridge. There's nothing like, no stepping stones or anything like that. You just have to like somehow make it over. I'm not sure if this is how most people do it or not, but that's how we did it. What'd you think, Apps? I want to jump in right there. Jump in. Seriously, jump in. If you want to jump in, jump in. This is a lily pad lake. No, I don't know. But there are some lily pads down there. We're getting close to the end today. Our destination is Cook Lakes and it's out there somewhere close by. This water is actually not too cold. Where are you going? Well, we're getting closer to Cook Lakes. This is part of it, I think. It's really pretty up here. Well, this is the biggest Cook Island. Really neat how they've got all these little islands in the middle. Really reminds me of Thousand Islands up in the High Sierras. You got these big white cliffs over here, and I mean, it's, it's very similar. Fun little casual walk tonight. We're gonna hit the bed, hit the hay early. We just got up. It's about 6.30. No mosquitoes right now. At least they're not attacking us. That's good. The sun's just peeking up there over the mountain. Happy and I had a... Actually, we slept pretty decent last night. We had to rearrange ourselves a few times, but we did pretty good. Abs, how you doing? I'm staying right here until there's a fire. <laughs> <laughs> this was our first night's camp. It was actually a pretty nice camp. We had a camp, we had a fire pit already built, the, <coughs> the benches, and we just put our stuff here. Just had our breakfast. Abby had oatmeal. I had a, oh boy, tortilla egg, I guess, eggs and tortillas, I guess so. Lots of cheese. <laughs> Beautiful morning though. Sun's out over there. Mosquitoes are out too, but they're not out around the fire. Beautiful, beautiful morning. So 
our first river crossing for the day. Nice. That feels good on my pants. <laughs> These are nice. Nice fresh mountain water is so good. Woo! Listen to the Mozart as we cross over this meadow. Taking Lester Pass up to Islands and Titcomb Basin now. Looks like we're going to cross over this river right here. Not a bad spot. Unless it gets deep, but let's see. Yeah, we're just going right out in there. Fun. It is cool. There's like a trail in this water here. Second river crossing up to my past my knees. I just gotta be careful with my phone in my pocket. Oh, this is so this is so nice here. It's cold. There's a marmot down there. Oh, he just ran off. Oh, you see him? I can see him. I can see him way out there. It's pretty cool. <laughs> There's another quick leg right between those trees. Oh, pretty. That's where some of it's coming from. Some of that water. Huh? Awesome. 
dig your feet into the snow. Yeah, careful. There you go. Not bad. Well, we're on top of this ridge line up here now at about 11,000 feet. And you can see way out in the distance. And you can probably see where we're going to end up tonight. Elevation 1,560 feet. Lester's Pass, that's Lester. the one we took from the river way down there. That's awesome. We just finished up our little lunch up here on the top of this pretty cool saddle that heads down now into the Island Lake area. We're going to be headed down to those, right between those two lakes down there. And then up here, up there somewhere is Islands Lake. That's where we're going to end up tonight. Alright, we just turned off of the uh, Highline Trail and we're headed up to Islands Lake. And it's only about a, we're thinking it's only about a mile and a half from here. And I think that's where we're going to camp tonight. daddy I'm peeking on you. I know. It is cold. Cold water. Oh, God. I'm like warm right now. Good. But Great. Good. Warm, but you got it! Okay, three, two, one! <laughs> oh man, that's so good. Well, we just got to Islands Lake, took a shower, put our tent up, and we're gonna head it up to Tickcomb Basin right now. Yeah, it's really pretty. Check out that sandbar right there. That's cool, huh? It's like a uh, like your own little private beach right there. So yeah, we're headed up to uh, Tikkun Basin, which is up there. This is cool. Don't get to see this very often. Just sand. That is awesome, huh? It just keeps getting better and better out here. Look at this. It's amazing. Got some rivers there, river there. Probably coming down from Titcomb Basin. So my bread? Well, we're gonna head back. That was fun. 
crazy how much water they have up here. Just amazing. Coming from those glaciers. Found this lake with a bunch of snow in it still. Snow and ice. Oh my god, it's so <laughs> Jumping that one, huh? It's got a lot of ice in it. Abby's doing the morning mosquito dance over there, putting her mosquito spray on. <laughs> Otherwise, it's really pretty here. Really awesome. I mean, look at those mountains back there. All right, we are on day three, and we are just heading out of our, our campsite right now. Headed back, uh, I think it's about 11 miles, to the trailhead. We're gonna, the last part is stuff we've already done before, but this first part is we've not seen before. How did you sleep last night, Abs? Better than the night before. <laughs> I woke up one. I kind of had a rough night Twice. last night. We are descending. It's come about two miles now, and this is Seneca Lake. Oop, can't see it now. Seneca Lake is out here. All right, well, now this is the big Seneca Lake, I guess. Pretty. Fun. We've been going, been going hard for six miles. It's pretty up here, man. Time for a break. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it's stiff. I think there's five at least. There's plenty of places to camp. Well, we are coming to the end. There's the parking lot out there. Abby, you think Abby's excited? <laughs> oh my gosh, we made it. Whee! High five. miles, took a bath, probably saw at least, I don't know, 50 to 100 lakes, and probably got, oh, Abby got bit a hundred times well, by I'm, mosquitoes. I'm so far. That's just my hands and my legs. <laughs> oh, man. It's an adventure. It was fun. Till the next time.